Can I can I be personal for this on this one? So um, three years ago, in March 2020, we were meant to be moving out to Kenya, and that was the plan. We were going on one final trip to find out how everything was going to be, and then we were intending to move out there and work with a seminary out there. And then, well, it was March 2020. There were other things happening <laughs> during that time, and the pandemic came in, and our world went into crisis, and I caught COVID and became very, very ill, so much so that I couldn't speak for 10 months, and I wasn't able to stand or walk until, actually until February this year. So it's been a, a time of extreme weakness. And so I opened my Bible, wasn't able to communicate, and started just sitting with each of these verses. In the Psalms, I went to the Psalms of Lament, because where else do you go when things have gone to the wall? And I started with Psalm 3 and began to look into how David processed a life of confusion and not understanding what is happening with the King of Kings. And so as I did this, I, I'm an artist as well, and so I started drawing out the words. I've done this for, for about 10 years, but I had this, this time of over a year where each day I just sat in the room in the presence of God and for about five hours a day just spent time on just one or two verses and thought through them and meditated through them and, and drew, drew them out. And it became an accidental book, which is, which is coming out later on this year. But, but the, the, the thing that, that captured me um, was that God was in control, that it wasn't on my shoulders, and that I was sitting here in the presence of God, and, and the joy was overflowing because I could see that I could trust him. And just a few months ago, God intervened in, in a miraculous, incredible way. And I had to cancel the wheelchairs at the airport to come here this week because, uh, because I don't need them anymore. And it's just been an, an, an absolutely, utterly incredible thing. The doctors are dumbfounded. They're calling it a miracle. But in all of this, it's the surrender in the darkness as well as the surrender in the light. And it's paying attention to what God is saying, to who he is, and knowing that he is in control, that he is alive. And I was at a prayer meeting just, just two weeks ago, or yeah, just two weeks ago, and I was asked to read uh, Psalm 119, verses 71 and 72. And it says, it was good for me to have been afflicted, that I might learn your law. Your words to me are sweeter than thousands of pieces of silver and gold and uh sorry um and and that is the truth it was good for me because god led that way and he was still god and he was still in control right in the darkness and whether he had he had healed me or not healed me at the end he was still god he was still on the throne and i think i guess that's the answer to the question isn't it how do you move from study to surrender you're there in all of it with, in the, with God, in his goodness, and seeing that he is sovereign, and we can trust him no matter what is going on.